good morning everybody uh, it's a little bit later than I would have wanted to be up and leaving the gym but it is what it is it happens sometimes uh, yesterday was a little bit more busy but it was good busy it was fun but yeah I have no idea what we're doing today so hopefully we can get some stuff over here done but yeah good morning everybody So I have no idea what happened, but all the power shut off in our house for a second. Like we're just laying upstairs, just hanging out right before we're about to jump in the shower. I'm like looking over in the bathroom because I have all the lights and all the stuff ready to just go jump in the shower. And it was kind of hard to us because like we just have windows that like the sun's coming in really good right now. So we don't really got to turn too many lights on or anything, but in the bathroom you do. And all of a sudden I look over and the light shut off and I hear like, like you know, just like the sound of like electronics kind of going like whatever it may be. And all of a sudden it just goes like, I'm like what the heck? So I like kind of sit up and just like look around and all of a sudden it, and it kicks back on. Like all the electronics, you can hear them start going. Like the litter box is going right now and like for fruit, like the timer reset. Did this stop just halfway through its cycle? Or is it, whoa. Or is it done? I don't know. Yeah, so I mean, I sound like there are more in the backyard, so that's why I went back there. And then I just barely looked over like, I don't know, and I just saw a truck driving off. That's the side of the house with the electrical, I don't know. We yeah, have everything turned back on. I'm not seeing a problem anymore, but that's how it happened, you know? Um, we just have to figure that out. Yeah, so again, I like looked over, because it sounded like they were in the backyard, so I looked over the fence and saw a car start driving, I'm like, what the heck? So I go out in the front yard, so I can go and see what was going on, and the truck was just like two houses down, and it said like our power company thing on it, and I saw a dude mess with another box, and I was like, hey, did you just, he's like, oh yeah, you know, sorry, I was like, yeah, sorry, all of our lights just went on, I was just confused and what the heck happened. I was like, yeah, yeah, we're just hurrying, switching out everything really quick, so I mean, that's, that's good that they're, trying to keep up with everything and figuring everything out, but you know, I'm just gonna, yeah, okay. So that's good. That's good, that was nothing bad. Hello everyone. It is 1.22. Did I just get out of the shower? Yes. Okay, this lettuce, I totally forgot about it and I wanna see if any of it's good. Probably not. Did I just get out of the shower? Yes, I did. Okay, anyway, I got a letter in the mail that said, hey, you haven't paid your taxes yet. You have to pay your taxes by the end of the month. And I said, hey, I paid my taxes in March. So, uh, wrong, incorrect. And I reached out to the lady who did our, um, filed our taxes and I said, yo, what is this about? Because I looked back on bank statements and we paid taxes. Anyway, and so she said, you have to call the IRS because we filed your taxes, you paid. So there's something wrong in their system, so you have to call them and tell them that there's something wrong in their system and that you already paid your taxes, which I think it was like $100 more than what we already paid. So we will have to owe something anyway, but like it was everything plus $100, right? And so I said, ah, no. That's, that's not, that's not right. The lady who filed our taxes was like, hey, um, we can do it, but we'll just have to have you sign something and then also we'll have to charge you. And so I was like, yeah, I might as well just try calling them. But apparently you could be on hold for like five ever. So I'm gonna have to call them and I haven't yet. So I'm gonna get lunch started because I want to make chicken that I can, like grill really quick and then cut up and then have salad with it because we have all of this lettuce that we need to eat before it goes bad. Not the greatest thing to have to figure out, but that's just how it goes. So hopefully I'll get to do anything today that is productive besides just having to call the IRS and say, you did this wrong. Which the other thing is, I don't know if I call them and say, 
I don't know if I have to be the one to call him or Ty has to be the one to call him because for some reason the lady filed taxes under Ty's name. I don't know if she did that just because he's the husband. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out. For right now though, I'm cutting up lettuce. I should start the air fryer. I have frozen chicken that I looked up like how to cook it in the air fryer because I don't want to like crap like really crappily thaw it out in water where you can taste it. So I'm gonna maybe I should try cutting it when it's frozen. That's solid though. Ignore the fact that I'm on hold right now. So I made like power bowls for lunch. There's rice in there, it's cilantro lime rice, there's beans in there. I've got to turn it, beans, chicken, lettuce, and cheese. And then I'm gonna put the cafe Rio dressing on it, and it's gonna be great. I had to tell Ty the lunch is ready. This is Ty's, so I'm not gonna be able to eat this much. Number one, Ty is amazing. I washed the car this morning and I took it for gas so I didn't have to, so he's just amazing altogether. Number two, I was able to get on a call with the IRS and figure out what is going on with our taxes. And they said, oh, it got filed under the wrong year. So it was supposed to be filed under 2023, but it got filed under 2024. And so they're like, yeah, the system must have been wigging out. Anyway, so they were like, it got filed under 2023 instead of being filed where it was supposed to be. So, I mean, it got filed under 2024 instead of being filed under 2023 where it was supposed to be. So, we got it fixed. It might take a couple weeks to fully go through, but that's okay. I'm trying to figure out what size my bow is so I can get a new string because somehow this string got lost. So I can use it at the ranch again, but it might not get here in time. Okay, so how is it? It's good. My it's mom good. made bread out of cottage like, cheese, eggs, garlic, garlic, garlic salt, salt, and Italian seasoning. And it's, it's like straight protein. Yeah. That's really good. Like, yeah, it's weird because like it feels like eggs, but like not, I don't know, it's weird. I'm gonna try it. She gave me the recipe for it too. Really? Yeah. That's good. I know, right? It'd be good, like pizza crust. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's apparently gluten really free and all the fun stuff, so. But. Like, it's just a thin little thing, but for like, like they're saying, like a wrap. Or like, put a it's pizza crust or breakfast burritos or something. It's so good. Okay, so I just woke up from a nap, and we had to run to the store to go get stuff for dinner. I don't, I don't know. Uh, so me and Jet are at Costco getting all the last minute things. I think we're having Alfredo and berries and cream. We didn't have quite everything. I mean, it's going to be a quick run. We already have half the things on our list. But, so we're almost done that we can make dinner. And then we should have just had the girl, all the kids make dinner, blindfolded. Right. All this. <laughs> Went good. But, So luckily we called them and double checked how much of everything we need because we were a little short on some things. So I went to go double get uh, whipping cream and it's raining. That's raining on me. Yeah, I just went to go get go get more stuff and all of a sudden I got a and then I got a good handful of drops on my head. I'm just trying to just trying to get food without rain on. We did it. We did the quick Costco run. Uh, hopefully, we got everything and the right amounts of everything. We tried to double, triple check with the girls. But hopefully, hopefully we did it and we don't need to run back. because I went to Costco. 
You're exhausted. <laughs> oh, while we floated in the pool. Yes. <laughs> So since I got out of the pool, I don't think we've vlogged really since then. We've been playing Five Crowns and it's midnight, but we've been going to bed at midnight. We've been doing good. I don't even think a full one. We've been doing good. Just like, no, like, like Not anymore, I guess. Probably not this week. I already knew that this week would be messed up. A fire truck just pulled out of our neighborhood and my anxiety said, turn on the camera. It's basically like out of our street. Yeah, out of our street, not our neighborhood, our street. Oh, oh, there's lights still on. Oh my gosh, it better not be at our house. Oh my gosh, it better not be at our house. Oh my gosh, it better not be at our house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's right in front of our house. Oh my gosh, is our house fine? Is our house okay? I'm not looking. I'm literally gonna throw up. Holy crap, I just almost... It's at our neighbor's house again. The it's same not, one. No, oh it's yes not it is. The, it's the same one. Yeah, it's the one's right across the street. They just couldn't park in front of all cars. Oh my gosh, I literally almost threw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I thought it was at our house. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <gasps> you know, well, when I saw it, saw it turn, I like, looked over. Because you can see like, the back of our house from where we saw the truck. And I didn't see any fire, so. And it's right in front of our house. Like the ambulance is like right basically in front of our house. Holy crap, like I'm fire. literally gonna throw up. I'm gonna go hug my cat. And then we're gonna go watch it. There's a window. Oh, they're being slow though. Oh my gosh, this is the second time in the past few months that they've... The stretcher's in the door there. They are staying on the stairs, but it's like last time. They oh my gosh, about, I'm gonna throw up. They came about this early. Hi, Nala. Nala, I'm so glad you're okay. Well, I'm literally gonna cry. I don't remember they came this early. No, it was at four o'clock in the morning. Last time, we were like... They just don't disconnect, I guess. Oh, and I didn't unplug the air fryers. So that's so smart. I literally, the fire, or the ambulance is still in front of our house. I don't, I feel like they're not in a rush, but I literally, I'm gonna throw up. I know I'm probably being so dramatic, but like, thank you, Nala. Thank you. I know, I'm so glad you're not crispy somewhere. <laughs> Anyway, I'm probably gonna watch through the window to see what's going on with my neighbors because I'm nosy and also I wanna see if everything's okay because now I'm moving on from being worried about our house to someone else. I turn the lights on so they can't see me stalking, but they have someone in the car. Maybe they're just loading the gurney in the car or that thing. Anyway. They got whatever they needed, I guess. I mean, last time they load, they took out the stretcher, gurney, whatever it is, and then didn't actually put anyone in it. And so I wonder if it's the same thing where they just, I don't know. Again, that's twice in a like month, two months maybe? They got called. So, kind of concerning. Thankfully, our house is not burned down. I'm not gonna throw up about it. Um, the ambulance left like slowly, so I don't know if they were in a rush or anything. So hopefully, I'm hoping everything's fine with the neighbors. I'm pretty grateful that we don't, <laughs> our house isn't burned down. I went around though and checked like plugs and stuff just in case. I know I'm just paranoid, but it's good to be paranoid sometimes, right? I'm so glad this kid is okay. I like to still have her, and she's just my favorite still. Anyway, we're going to bed though. So, we love you guys. Always remember that. You are worth it. Bye guys.